Happy Thursday, everybody. 
I hope you had yourself a great Wednesday and a great day today. Um, like you guys were here last time, we were playing with my sketchbook that we did. So, got a little bit of stuff done today also on uh, aircraft stuff to do more of the cleaning and refinement of the uh, actual uh, CAD overlay on the Cessna. I didn't post a video, of course, of it today, so I'm sorry about that. Tomorrow I'll be, be back out the hangar. We'll do some more pictures and video stuff. What's going on for the progs for that? Brian, howdy, happy Thursday. Busy day today with physical therapy and primary care doctor. Well, hey, Brian, I'm glad to have you on here, man. Sorry I missed it Tuesday, but you had a good time on your birthday, it looked like, from looking at your pictures and stuff. So happy birthday to you, brother. So, but anyway, I had a pretty good day. We got quite a bit of stuff done for the family time and whatnot we needed. But anyway, now it's time, relax time. Time to do some drawing, time to have some fun. So let me flip the camera around here. Yes, most certainly did. Thank you very much. Glad you had a good day. Thank you. So, uh, as you can see, we uh, from Tuesday, we did a little bit of work on her, and we got her, her pretty much finished up and whatnot on it. Kind of did like a slow tone down for it. So we did that. And then, of course, we had uh, Brett's uh, daughter was on here, and she said she liked My Hero Academia, so we did a little bit of sketch of uh, Ochako Raka from My Hero Academia yesterday on Tuesday's live stream, so we did that. We might fill up and fill in and do maybe a couple other little face poses on this, but I started playing with a new picture already, and I'll flip over to that one and show you as well. And this one I started playing with, I kind of got it laid out. I saw a neat picture, a couple pictures of some tigers that I was looking at, and this one had kind of like its hand in its mouth, like it was like almost like a big baby. Watch a little tonight as my cousins from Maine are visiting. Oh, cool. Well, welcome in. Thank you for hanging out and stuff. And by all means, let your cousins watch along. So. We're probably going to either we're going to do a little bit of work either on this tiger that I got playing with here, or we'll probably do a couple other pictures of this. All these drones look great. Tiger looks great so far. Well, thank you. So, and of course my burn is finally cleared up, so now I can wear my glove again. So we'll throw the glove on. Today, what we're going to be playing with is we're going to be playing with the 1.3 millimeter mechanical pencil. We might actually vary it up every now and then. We'll use the 0.5 as well to maybe get some sharper details on it. We will have the electric eraser here. Put off the side so it doesn't slide. We'll probably use a rub pencil or Conti or Tortillion, whatever you want to call it. And somewhere is my kneaded eraser. Let me see. One second. I got my kneaded eraser somewhere around here. And got my needed eraser. So there we go. Now we're all set. Had one thing missing. It always never fails. So anyway, that's what we're going to play with today. These are what we're going to use. And we're going to just sketch. And uh, we can use little references and stuff, images if we want. And if somebody says they want to try something out, Frontier Man, how you doing? Happy Thursday. I hope everything's going well. So, but... Like I said, we're going to play with these two types of sketch things, get this page filled up, as you can tell. The sketchbook that started from over the weekend is now starting to get a little bit full, starting to get more and more stuff as we keep going with it. So we basically got little sketches, little pieces we're doing, trying different things, playing with a larger, th thick, the thicker lead to see how that kind of lays out. And we're just going to kind of go from there. So I'm just kind of working with this one tiger piece we're kind of playing with. So maybe give them... A little bit of his color being we're not actually going to be colored like doing orange with it we're going to use some tonal colors and stuff more because after all it's just a sketchbook so we're just going to have a little bit of fun with that so but let's see if we can start working him in and kind of got him laid out a rough a roughing of him laid out and we're going to kind of work from here so get his little furry ear up here going Uh, this would be a... in all actuality I'm drawing him kind of up this way even though he's really sort of like that <laughs> so when you when if you get finished with it his, his body's really going to be laying that way so but I'm playing with working on him this way just because he's a little bit easier for it so but anyway that's what we're going to play around with we're going to see if we can get this tiger done up a little bit here we're going to I worked with larger shape stuff and now I'm actually going to work Today I'm going to try and practice with. Uh, hey Russ, how you doing today? 
happy Thursday. So today I'm gonna we're gonna try we're gonna experiment with instead of doing all the details like this like you can see here like I was doing details on it I did that so you can see that what I'm gonna actually do now is I'm gonna actually use tonal shapes shades shades to bring out the rest of these basic shapes in and start working in from from wide like large to small more detail so that way we're not focusing on detail all the time like this for at first so right now I'm going to work on some of his tonal highlights for like what would be the orange fur of the tiger and just kind of we're going to block that stuff in so we're going to get a little bit of coloring down here as well we'll do a little bit of coloring over here kind of accent how it runs around his eyes there we go. We're basically going to work him in. So then, of course, we'll have a couple little. We'll probably have a, his going his fur the way his fur runs out. We'll probably have a a darker stripe that'll probably run like this around his fur. So and we'll kind of keeping it loose. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just getting a, a feel for it. And if you guys, like I said, this is the stuff that I was planning on playing with today, and I might add something new to it. Maybe we'll see how we feel. I might actually, midway through, I might actually work on yet another sketch, and we'll start working our way through there. I might work a little bit on this. I did come across another reference thing that looked like it had some pretty good action to it that we might like. It's another, it's a cat too also, but it, it's got a pretty much more action in this. This looks more like just kind of cute and curly for the size of the animal. So let's see here, let's see if we can roll this a little bit so I can get a little bit of a wider spot on my lead. We're going to start working in some of this. And what we need is once we get this kind of laid out, we'll, we'll go from there and play with it a little bit more to kind of add a little bit more tones to it. That way we get a good contrast. So the music seems to be pretty good tonight, so least from the few minutes that I've been listening to. It's actually been going pretty well. So we kind of have this little bit of white fur up underneath, sort of like his belly's going to have a lighter colored fur. So we're going to work on some of the orange. Facebook froze. Yep, that's about right. This is, I guess this is their week to have issues with live stream stuff. That's why we got YouTube, Twitch, and as I keep growing, eventually... As I keep getting more and you guys keep spreading the word and people start wanting to hit it and like it and follow along on Instagram and um, TikTok, I'll eventually get my, uh, they'll give me the uh, permission or the key API key to where I can actually do live streams on Instagram or TikTok. A little bit smoother, a little bit easier working on. And we'll be able to go from that. So, but got to do baby steps. Baby steps first. So... Yep, yeah, I see Facebook's been having their issues this, this past week. Uh, I think the other, the other week that some people were saying they're having a little issues with it as well. So, let's give him sort of like that. Let's see here. We'll give. But, like I said, I keep going, eventually I'll get enough people and I can uh, apply for the uh, live stream key for Instagram and for TikTok, which will be a good thing to ha have on there. I mean, YouTube's a good platform as well. I might, there's a couple other places that are, that are coming up that are more art type based ones that I might actually research and try out and we might, I might add those to the, mul the live, the multi-stream stuff to see how it runs and if it runs well. We'll add it along. So let's see, we kind of have his neck roll right about here, and it kind of has like a white tuft. So this will be orange, and this will be the white, the lighter area. So we're just kind of kind of bringing them in is what we're working on right now. So let's see here. We got that. Now we can use your finger if you want, or we can use a rub pencil. Now this one I already have heavily pushed on to where if I, I already have heavily loaded so if I actually rub them 
it'll actually darken out like that already depending on the side that I use as you can see so but what I can do is I can go in here with my I'll show you a couple I got some different types depending so these are different all tortillions or stumps depending on how fat or how narrow that you want to do with it or if you need the little, little precision point work so we might actually use this guy and the neat thing about these guys is if you'll see how they're dirty and you ever want to clean them there's this little tool here this little tool it's a simple little thing it's just a piece of MDF and it's got a bunch of sandpaper strips on it and if you ever need to clean it you literally roll it as you're striding back and forth and the event cleans it right off and it keeps it from fraying and getting too crazy on things so that's all you do and you got a new one so I'll come here and we'll do this one too this can clean off some of the pieces on it can keep it as good a good point there we go so and of course once the sandpaper gets too much you just take it peel it back throw it out go to the next one so anyway we got this guy cleaned up now and we're gonna we will add in and when I use these especially a half one I don't really rest my hand down on it and stuff I kind of I'll stick them like right here to where he's more like this so I'm actually kind of just doing this and working on my elbow all the way out to where I'm kind of running that way on it so that way when I have certain strokes like here I'm going to pull some of the darker into the light and that's going to allow a natural area of, of a gradation on there so the torch should look pretty cool we'll get the effect we want and of course if it doesn't come in dark as we want you always go back over it and then there's the other faithful thing if it gets too dark you can always use the kneaded eraser to blot it out to make it a little bit lighter and then rework through it again the whole key is not pushing down too hard and actually scoring the paper to where the paper has a groove in it because then it has it has a tendency to stay there better and you can't keep working on the composition until that so and of course this guy we got to clean up some of the construction lines so let me make a little tight point like so and we'll work inside the nose here and get some of those little construction lines cleaned up around the nose because we're going to give him a little bit of shading there because it's not a white nose it's a pink nose that the tiger has but we're going to clean up some of the construction lines just a little bit there for when we first laid them out and then we're going to take and just kind of grab a just a hair back and forth just enough where it actually wants to catch there we go and then we'll work on these to bring these to where the pink doesn't blend in too close to the orange but we'll make the orange a little bit more darker here like so okay let's just kind of and when I do this I'm not always going back and forth it's not like a scribble like this let me grab it it's not always a scribble like this. You just don't go back and forth that way. You can if you're looking for a certain thing to where if you're going to do a cross hatch, to where you can go back and forth that way to give kind of give a texture to it. But most of the time if you're trying to smooth it out, I do little tiny circles as I move it. And as I move it, I might circle it this way, but then I can cir I'll circle it that way. So I'll go this way and then I'll flip it over the opposite direction. Back and forth and it kind of gives a little bit more of a hazy look. So, and it's neat because you get to take this and you can actually play with it a little bit. You can try it on the tip, on the side. You know, you can see how it runs for different for different stroke pieces on it. Let me get the, uh, some of that cleaned off. So, but we do that and we'll kind of give this a little piece on there. But like I said, we're just having some fun tonight. It's a little relaxed time. Okay. Let's see if we can get some of this... And we want it to look a little bit like fur, so we're going to give it a little bit of a roughing. We might actually push it to like little tiny lines to where we'll do little bumps like that. And it gives a little bit of a texture to it by not doing full strokes. The full stroke might be good to kind of get an initial base down, but then you can come back over and kind of give them a little bit more to it to where it gives a little bit of, of life to make it look like he's kind of, he's got fur. You know, he's not painted on. Or he's not wearing like a bodysuit. Because it's a tiger, it's an animal. Got fur. 
<laughs> so, and we're going to work him in. So, and what we've got going on here is we will... Once I hit this part here, they kind of dole it out and thicken and clean plate out the ear, the back part of the ear, because the ears, like I said, the drawing really is this way. Like when you look at it, he's actually going to be laying like that way. So this is going to have a shadow. This will have a little bit of a shadow and a little bit of a darker area the way the lighting will run to it. He's going to be on a white bottom, so he's going to have a little bit of light that will protrude back up that reflects off of the white bottom on stuff also. So, but like I said, we just kind of playing and practicing. That's what the whole point of this sketchbook is. It's not like we're working on an actual commission piece. We're just kind of testing out and seeing what new things we can come up with and what might actually yield a unique result. So, give him a little bit of a furrier look that way. And as you keep doing it, he start, you, you'll see he starts to come into play and come into focus. Kind of gets a little bit better each time. So let's give, let's bring this down a tiny bit more. We got to do is, got the front part of his jowls here where he's got the little orange that runs down the front of the nose. So maybe next week what we'll do is we'll pull back out the digital pad and we'll do some digital work too. I'll, I'll show you some progress we did on the Western Cat from a couple weeks ago because I was working on the painting of him and whatnot. Got a Western Cat, Western Kitty. That one came out pretty good. That was really creative and kind of hilarious we came up with. That was a fun thing. Okay, we'll give, give him a little bit of a shadowing there. I bet it looks even better. Yeah, it, it, it's, it comes along. You keep playing with it and whatnot. That's some of the, sometimes the nice thing, especially about with artwork and stuff. If it's, you're just kind of having fun with it, you can go, you know, I'm a little worn out with this one. Let's flip it over and get the mind, the juices flowing again. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you just got to take a break on an art piece. Some art pieces and paintings take a very long time. So. Some, sometimes they'll sit for a little bit until they get the right inspiration, the right movement on it. So, push out like this because his fur kind of sticks out a little bit. And we can go back over that way with it. So, we might actually come in here and we might actually give him like another little, like some of his stripes we'll run this way. Just kind of trying to do it to where it accents to where you can you can see the way some of the stripes line on a tiger also it kind of almost like it accents some of his muscular movement to it that definitely makes sense I love what we do with the western cat on the live yeah that was like i said we kind of we were we were getting into our, our creative juices were definitely starting to get get loosened up as we kept doing other sketches and playing through stuff and on that animal kick where we we're humanizing little animals and stuff and putting them in poses i was like the uh my frog that we did with the frog made him into like a, a, a pog caster, so we called him the frog caster. So I'll, I'll post some of those and pictures and stuff of that. Those came out pretty nice. We did some really good stuff. It's all about creating something together. We were, had some good time creating that together. Good memories. That's what I like. So let's see what we've got. Yeah, and we gotta give him a. He's got tigers have some stripes that run up the top here, so we'll maybe we'll we'll give a couple stripes here to make it look like eyebrows a little bit, to kind of accent like he's got a little bit of expression to him. Absolutely, so draw as many as you want. The tiger's looking good. Well, thank you, Brian. Appreciate it, brother. So we'll give him a. We'll use the stripes to kind of give him a sort of a. You can almost see like a brow ridge on it. That way, it give him a like he's got a, a good expression on him. It gives a little bit of personality to it. So, and we'll kind of just work it in and see which one kind of kind of fits and sticks. And that's the nice thing about this. So we'll kind of there we go. We'll run that through. A little bit of there for the eyes, and they got like the little white 
spots that go around the eyes. So you're welcome. You know, the Detroit Tigers is perfect. <laughs> they lost today, but playing a second game and winning by one run at the moment in the fourth inning. Still spring training, so the game's not caught yet. Well, hey, cool. At least they're getting some good practice in. On to baseball. <laughs> so. Alrighty. So what we got. Let's see here. So we got a little bit of there. Tigers use it. They got also, even though they have their whiskers, they also have sort of like the stripes that kind of run through with the whiskers. So let's see if we can use it to kind of put some depth into this. You got it. <laughs> let's do that. We'll kind of use these as lines, and then as it gets closer, we'll kind of just do like the little, the little dots because they kind of go these use these as a construction area for so like so we're just gonna kind of a couple little here and there just to this is a neat technique to where you're not actually doing all of the detail but you're just kind of really focusing on light and dark to kind of get the the feel of it so because if you look at it up close right now oh whoops drop my Rub pencil in one second. Let me throw that with the other so that way it doesn't do that again. But I'll pick it up so you can guys get a closer look on it. But as you can see, when you look at it closer, it's really it's not like like I'm actually illustrating it where I got clean fine lines on it. What I'm doing is I'm this is a, a practice in just using tone, so light and dark. So the white is just as good as the dark or dark part on it to kind of bring it in. So and that's the that's the whole goal and you just kind of it's not something I, I i i do this type of stuff on and off i don't really do it that much compared to some of the other artwork and stuff i've done so where i do a lot more rendering and whatnot instead of just using it this way but it's always good to come back and forth to it because it always helps you out especially when you get ready to if you decide to do a nice rendering piece and you're trying to get good shadows and lights and darks, this is a good way to do this because it's kind of trained your mind to see what all you need and what you really don't need, what would be too much. Oh, a tie game! <laughs> so we got that. Let's kind of give him a little here. Got his mouth. Got some teeth. Give, give him a couple little swipes out like this, like he's kind of got, there we go, like you can see like the outer area part to it, and let's, instead of just drawing like he's, like his jaw, like his mouth is, the front part of his nose is open, let's actually use, like I said, the stripes again, and we'll kind of make it a stripe to where you'll get the, the picture to it. I'll we'll kind of do this just to see, show that it's kind of rolls a little bit. There we go. So, not so much just not so much defining it out like if we did a skull drawing and whatnot. So, we got that. Let's see here. Let's work a little bit on this side. We we've got a, we'll play over on this side now. We'll move over here and we'll kind of. See if we can give a little bit of a randomness to it, but also do the same thing to where you can see like it's it's like the black stripe in the fur. There we go. Let's see if we can make it look like he's playing around a little bit and got he's got some ground spots like his head stuck in the dirt a little bit or maybe in the snow or something. So let's do that. Because this will have a little more of a flatter area because he's laying on it, so the weight's going to be on him. So we'll push a little bit out here. And as you can see, I'm not choked up at all on this. I'm kind of actually halfway, just kind of keeping it loose and playing with it. And this is how, I, how you work it in. So no need to rush supposed to be nice and fun anyway. Let's see if we'll maybe give a couple little wild looks. There we go. 
go. And look to bed. And what we can do is to give it a little bit of a hair look. We'll take it this way. Or actually, I can turn it this way. And that way I can do little tiny, like his hair, his fur is going to be kind of pushing away like this way. So we can kind of just do like little light, light shots. Because then when we go back over it, we can actually use the rub pencil and we can go. And that way I can give a little bit of a, a fur texture, even in the lighter colored areas. And I have a little bit of shadow there from that from the, the front part of his nose, his snout hanging over. So, and we can actually take, and we can actually do a little light here, just, just enough, just to kind of get a little bit of a tone to it, because that's gonna be shadowed from the rest of his body over the top. We can pick up some right here. So. See, now we're kind of getting him. See? And of course he's got like his, his hand in his mouth like he's chewing on his hand. Like I said, sort of like a like a little kid, like a little baby. Even though he's a big baby. That's sort of the, the cute thing to this part. This piece. So let's see. Let's do that. And of course we want to we'll give a couple little just see some of the outer rim of like some of another another stripe on the outer part there just like so Side is white, so it will go that way. All right, and of course we got. Let's see if we can get a little bit there. Let's see if we can accent a little bit more of the the fur coming in here. Got the mouth. Excellent. So what we can do is we can give a little bit of detail on this side area here. And we see the first paw. We'll start working that first paw in as we keep going down. What we can do is we can go ahead and darken this in a little bit, get rid of some of the detail, but leave some of it still there. Now we'll start working down here and we'll start shed, get some of the stuff in. Now the way his paw is kind of like sucking his mouth and stuff, his paw, his fur is going to come like out these this way. That's what we want to do. So we can work with that and we can kind of give like little, little shoot areas back and forth this way to kind of simulate a little bit of a fur look. highlights in certain areas so you can actually get a little bit of a structure with it where it's not just like a big ball of fur so that way you can see a little bit of the darkness on it where you can a little bit of hard surface and underneath the fur the coat where it looks like it lays right there and it's going to go to a 
wider for the show. That would be some part of the underpaw. So. Oh, John, thank you for liking the stream, brother. Yeah, we're just sketching along. some of it and that way when we go to smooth it out we'll be able to go from there with it so and kind of make it towards not so so contrasting there we go down in here is going to be kind of dark because it's got a big bigger shadow underneath the arm and everything to the, so we'll keep working away in that we don't want to hit dark, too dark on there first we'll work our way down onto it so, like I said, it's always easy to go darker. Sometimes it's not as easy to go lighter, but we can still make it work. And let's get some of those construction lines we don't need there. Just kind of go over it with a, just like so. We can clean it up a little bit if we want to make it a little bit higher. Say you shade it down a little bit low. You can do that. back up See, and then I can hit these guys and kind of thins it out a little bit on it. Magic are also playing losing by one but about two minutes left in the first quarter so a lot left to play oh cool so it's could be it's still anybody's still anybody's game now here as this was going forward as it comes down it starts to the way this runs this is the top part of the arm so we're going to start moving the fur more like this where you're going to have it to where it looks like it's starting to have a little bit of a pull difference. So. Sure is anyone's game got the win. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for keeping me up to date on those scores, Brian. I appreciate it, brother. Let's see. So we've got this cute little tiger. So, let's see here. And if you guys didn't hear, weren't here Tuesday when you heard, I got my uh, letter and stuff for my small business. So I'm officially an LLC now. So I'll be able to start getting the website put up and start getting stuff put together for that. And be able to start going from there. So I should have some some merch available shortly for uh, some official merchandise from Lithcom Arts. And I'll probably next week I should I should have some at least a couple of test shirts to try out and I'll wear them on the live stream, see what you guys think. See how it goes. And of course, you're welcome. Basketball will be over soon, April 11th starts playoffs. Congratulations. Well thank you, Brian. I appreciate it, brother. Big step. It's been a long, long thing running, trying to get that together, and finally, finally got to the point where we was able to look at doing it. Now we're going to try and see if we can, uh, see if we can make this a good li uh, livelihood here. Not just doing the drawing stuff. I mean, drawing stuff obviously, but actually doing graphic design and other projects, website building and whatnot. So, add on to the pile. So let's see here. Wrist's going to be here. Got big old finger paws, so we'll kind of give a little bit of a shadow here for like the wrist, so you can see like it, or it actually has the bend to it, like that. That might actually look pretty good. And let's see if we can give it a little bit of. We want to work it a certain way to where it shadows a certain direction down, or coming that way. We want the light coming down a little bit. Are. Try and get it to where it plays right, and we'll turn it this way to kind of get a good idea. Okay, you're welcome. Back. All right, so let's see here. We want to probably 
the way the fur, because the way his neck has got like that, that little f neck roll fur, well, we'll probably put a stripe right about here, because this is going to be like some of the brown, or not the brown, some of the orange. So we'll probably do a little piece that way. Not a big stripe. And then we'll add another stripe here so that we're getting to the top other portion of it. We don't want him to be too fat looking because it's kind of on a, like a, he's laid down so it kind of has a like a, like a overlap. And we're just going to add a little bit of detail just to kind of get bring a little bit more of that together. And let's see if we can get going to be a little bit more like at the back part of the tiger and stuff the orange is a little bit darker so it's a little more robust even though the light's going to be on this it's going to give the impression that it's a little bit more richer in contrast and tone see I can push in also just to kind of get like it look like the furs instead of just doing out I can go in that way I can push hard and then lift up to give like a little bit more of a streak to it so let's go that way and we'll work in here where it kind of rolls over a little bit so maybe we'll go like that that kind of there we are let's go back to here and we'll kind of as I'm jumping around I start to notice a couple things as I keep jumping and we'll start bringing this in also thanks to the loop band idea definitely works better on the couch leg and looking next for some shorter bands that aren't loops I looked on Amazon and couldn't find the short ones without loops have ones that are over five foot. Well, the nice thing about some of the bands, if they're way too long, you can always tie it in a knot to something. You know, you leave the excess slack to hang off. You can always tie it in one end, and that way you, you have just how much you need on it. So, and then, of course, you can always undo it. Just not a big deal. So, but uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to shoot you a message, some of the, some of the, pick, the uh, bands that I've used, so... got stripes on the bottom here so let's see if we can kind of show off like use the stripe to, to bring to where you can see the depth of it yeah so like that and let's kind of do it a little put a little furry stripe area a little patch here and this can be a larger stripe it'll kind of get a little bit fatter here just to just to make it look right. It's a good idea. Thanks, that'd be great. No problem, bro. Anytime. There we are. So yeah, something like that, and then probably give a little stripe here. Let's go this way. Stick a little stripe here as well. That way you can kind of see some of the weight of that. wider with the paw. So maybe we'll do that and put one right like that to it. Let's see. Get a little more show that wrist. going to have like the way the neck the, the fur kind of hangs off it's going to kind of loop hang down this way but we're going to have it to where the tufts are going to get closer this way so we might actually do sort of like an upside down pine tree type look if you're kind of sketching out a pine tree with a root you can kind of do this it's a I say that because of um, there's actually a book that shows you how you can do different types of speed plant species and stuff and it's kind of a similar thing to try and get that 
contrast look for it. I actually have the book nearby. I'll, if I can reach it, I'll show you what I was talking about with that. But we're playing with animals now, not trees. We just use that as a reference. So let's see here. So we got that, and he's going to have sort of the coat. It's going to be kind of overlapping this arm that's down underneath here. So we're going to get this a little bit more furry and baggy looking. Maybe not that bad you looking. That one got that one got away. Getting close to the end, that one got a little out of hand there. So let's just kind of we dab it and lighten it up. We'll work again. There we go. That look that feels like it's about weighted. You know how like how like the 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 the, the fur roll kind of rolls hangs down. So it's just like my uh, my German Shepherd, my my dog old Lily. Yeah. There we go. Kind of start to show that as one part of the paw there. Okay. Let's see here. We want to. Got to see just a hint of the the claw there underneath with the paws. And we're gonna the paws the way they kind of go. They they have like a sort of a knuckle thing similar to us, but not quite. But they're just still a paw towards kind of fat like that. So and of course you always it's always good to have good animal reference books especially with anatomy books if you're working on animals and stuff. So that way they look like they're supposed to, unless you're making sci-fi sci ones or ones where you have mashups. We, could, we might do that one night. We might do a mashup of some of the... Uh... There we go. That looks, that looks pretty good. Let's give this one. Got the little paw section there. Yeah, we might do that. Kind of mix it up. Do some some interesting things. Trying to think. I'm trying to think right now of what would be some funny combinations. You know, I remember like some of the old Flintstones and Jetsons, and or I think it was the Jetsons. They had one episode where they were there was something that they were mixing. They had animals being spliced together. Like they had like a turtle with wings, like it was a flying turtle and stuff. It was, it was kind of funny. Get some rid of some of this construction line. See that one line there? It's still a little dark. Even though if I lighten it out with the tortillion, it's going to probably come up. So I'm just going to dab it a little bit so that way it'll blend a little bit easier. But yeah. Maybe we'll do something. Well, being I like cats and stuff, maybe we'll do something with a cat. Maybe, um, let's see, what would be funny to do with a cat? Um, tiger is coming alive more. Yep, that's what we're doing. So we're going to work in, like I said, we're just kind of working it in light the dark. Let's see, something would be good with a cat. Something would be funny with a cat. Let's see. Another another species to mix with a cat. Maybe we'd do like a dinosaur. <laughs> like like a velociraptor. It would be a velocicat. That would be hilarious. Do like a velociraptor like cat. You know, have it to where he has a big a, a long tail and he kinda has the hind legs and his little front That would be kinda funny. And give it a cat head. We'll have to <laughs> that that actually might be that actually might be a good idea. Let me write that down so I don't forget it. Velociraptor cat. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to do some brainstorming on that one. Maybe we'll play with that for Tuesday or something. Like that. That'll be one of our one of our things. Whoops. I don't need the the fine lead that I keep typing off because it's only a half a millimeter thick. So let's see here. But yeah, that's kind of funny. A velocic a velocicat. <laughs> I think that would be pretty good. Now are we starting to see him like he's holding like he's playing with his paws in his mouth. 
looks like a, like a little baby that doesn't quite know what he's doing, what he wants to do yet, so he's kind of just chewing on his paws. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's looking all right. All right, all right. It's 7.45 ready. Maybe we'll get some of this shave in. We'll swap over to another. We'll start another picture at the same time. That way we'll have something we can keep running with. Because I kind of didn't get a chance. I kind of, you know, ended with, I ended with this on Tuesday. So I didn't have one that we were starting in the middle tour. We could keep carrying over. That's what I was thinking about trying to do. Let's kind of give some of the orange down here. Push these this out a little bit to where you can still see some of the fur, the dark fur areas on it. But we're gonna use it to kind of insinuate the way the fur overlaps because it's kind of thick on the bottom. Got a thick belly of white fur. So there we go. We're getting them. He's coming along. And what we might do is we'll go to the half millimeter to really work on some of the detailing on it to kind of clean them up a little bit more. So let's see here. This fur is going to be kind of coming towards us a little bit more. So we might actually have, let's see, let's see if I can do this right. Might clean that up, bring the paw down a little bit. Mm, no, actually, no, it doesn't. That looks about right. Let's, how do we want to do that? Let's, oh, how we did the stripe here. Let's bring the stripe over this way, and we're going to make it look like. Maybe that way to where it curls around it. That way it'll give the look of the paw. But yet it still will have the stripe that'll show the definition and the proportioning of it. And let's see here. We've got to do some stripes for him too this way. Maybe we'll go from like there's to probably the shoulder piece or maybe we'll run a stripe this way so that way it kind of acts it, it shows it off so it'll it'll make the eye go yeah that's that's that looks right and it'll help us by having a little bit there to, to see how the white fur will contrast with it nicely A little bit if you're still at it. Can't wait to see how the tiger looks when completely done. All right, amazing. Run. All right, bro. We'll see you in a few, brother. shattered over by the uh, by the hand. Yeah. That looks pretty good. And let's let's give this just a little we'll give this a little bit for it. You can see how the orange curls around the paw. Like that. Perfect. Let's see if we can show a little bit of a fur thing like for between the knuckle pads here. You 
can see how much more minimal the uh, streaking is with this glove because it doesn't really pick it up. It allows you to glide over. Perfect. Alright, let's see here. Alright, got that. Let's see if we can... Give a little bit of other furry look here on the girl on the on the white part. Because we don't want it just being pure white. This will be a great spot here that we can actually use the electric eraser. Remember I said sometimes you want to make a nice tight area where you can see some of the white fur kind of push through like this. So we can actually use it as a negative. Or you can put little spots in there by cleaning out the black. And like I said, the tip gets dirty sometimes. You just take your fingernail. You literally just and run it up the side of your fingernail and it cleans itself right off. Nice little tool. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see if we can... Let's, let's give them another stripe over here. spot that way. Put another stripe maybe this way. And let's see here. Flip them around. And let's Let's see if we can get some more to detail the fur in here. Just kind of make it look like it actually is rolling out. Bring in a couple of darker spots again in here. Shadow this in a little bit more. kind of fattens out a little bit, gets a little bit lighter to it to where it won't have nearly as long, deepest strokes or hardest stro little strokes will kind of smooth out like that. bad from a little a couple little pieces looks about right do that and give a little just a little reference area look like he's laying down what we can do Grab this and we'll actually use a very wide side of it just to grab some of the lip pencil. Just to put a little bit of a shadow on the base there. A 
Ah, Trios, what's happening? Welcome back. There we go. And got a little tiger. So I'll go ahead and do my little signature here and we'll. It's today's date, 23rd? Yeah. 3 23 23. And we got him done. So that's another page down in the sketchbook. So, there we go. Get you a little closer look at him. Yeah, not bad. Alright, let's go this way now. And let's... Let's see if we can make a little bit more of an action-y one. One that's got some movement feel to it. So let's see here. Let us... give him a point like that. That's going to show some good movement too. And we're going to actually give a curl that way. This one should actually come out pretty cool. Do that. Go ahead. Let's see how we can do this. We're going to this will be another cat we're going to do. We're going to give him some... See if we can map him out the way we want. Looks sort of like a rabbit right now, but hey. We'll change it up. And the 10 million pound fox. Alright. That way. Let's see how we can get this. This got the neck. Going that way. We got one arm that's gonna be this one's gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it work. Got one paw that way. So, so that one's gonna run through there. We're gonna have this cat on a full on sprint going to be booking it. So let's uh, give a little paw that way. This one's going to be the main paw that way. about. So let's run this down here. This will be the other paw. The other paw. About like that. So he's really going to be pushed in. Do it that way. Let's see if we can really make this guy look like he's...
get that that motion, that feeling. That looks like he's booking it. We might actually have something here with that one. So let's uh This one we might actually work a little, we'll still do a little bit of work like, like we did before. It's another practice session of like going light to dark. So, I don't know. I kind of got this. Maybe we might leave this here for for Thursday, or for Tuesday. And let's, let's switch it back up and we'll go back to uh, the uh, My Hero Academia and we'll fill this page up. I don't like having that kind of opened up down there. Maybe we'll do another facial expression or pose. Let's see here. Maybe we'll keep that helmet and we'll got an angle. Maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a side, maybe a profile shot. See what it looks like from a profile. Maybe kind of change it up. Got the cranium. chin. The ear kind of runs almost, it almost runs half because you got to figure the way the skull kind of runs out will be sort of like that. So the chin will go that way up for the ear. So we'll have our ear mark area which will be here. That'll be good because that'll give us the spot for the eyes. This is how you can map out the, the skull on it. Got the eye area here. Little cheek. This end like so. Comes for the cranium up to the top. Now let's see here. She's got the helmet piece, so that way it's going to be off to the side. It's going to probably be about maybe the here. It goes over the ear. So being we got the ear part there, we want to make it run like that to match the ear. And then it's got the little back piece here. And the lens is going to be the way that angle goes. We'll have the Way it sits, it'll sit a little bit far forward. We'll make it sure it goes above the head that we have for our cranium area because it's not it's gonna, not gonna rest in the skull, it's gonna rest on top. So we wanna in order to do this to make a nice little curve piece, we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna use our wrist instead of trying to run it out. So we're gonna actually go like this and we're gonna make a cleaner curve than if we tried to do it that way. It's easier to flip it over and just kind of give that piece to it. And what we can do is we can actually now, I think it goes about to the chin, doesn't it? Yeah, about to the chin. So now we have that. We can clean up that extra little line there. spots. And we need to bring down our go this way. So like 
back, so... spots. Go. Fill in this page a little bit. Now we're getting that page at least a little bit better up on it. Alright, let's shoot back over. Now we got that out of the system. Come back over to this guy. Add a little bit of stylization to this guy. Eh, I don't like that. That's too flat. Let's see if we can clean that out a little bit. Let's see if we can work on some of the some of the tones. Imagine I went by eight and I'm back. Tigers now losing one <laughs> bottom of the night. new drawing looks great. There you go, Brian. Here's the uh, there we go. There's the tiger. So, not bad. Not bad. So, and we uh, managed to fill in one more page. One more. We got the page filled out a little bit more with her. We added another picture profile shot. But now we're going to work on an action one. But Nadja, no, winning by eight at the half. That's awesome. Let me grab some water here.
a little too too messy down here. So let's try. That looks a little bit better. Had a little bit of a fur type feel to it. That's that one. Then we're gonna have that one. Just put down a little bit of lead just to be able to spread it a bit to get them kind of lined in. Let's flip back over. doing it to follow the curve of that foot. It's going to have a white belly as well. So here we'll have just a little bit of a darker fur on the edges. Bottom and tail, a little bit of a lighter look to it. So, all right, 
I guess we're definitely going to have some movement running with. Okay. in the picture. Alright. Well, you know, it's 8.20. I am actually starting to feel a little tired today. So, we might actually call it for the night. I think we'll stick with that. We got that far on them. Let me clean off some of the stuff on them. So, done the tiger, got the tiger did up today, added another head to there, she was finalized out, and maybe that's what we'll do, Brian, that was a good idea, we will, maybe we'll have, this page will be the, the cat, and then maybe we'll put the mouse on the other page, on the next one over. I mean, it might, might be a good idea. Who knows? We'll probably do the Velociraptor cat, the Velocic cat. So anyway, gloves off. I thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have yourself a good night. Have a good weekend as well. You know, it should be pretty nice down where my neck of the woods I'm at. Yeah, that would be great. Yep. So anyway, I hope you take care and stuff. Have yourself a great night. Great weekend. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. And if you follow my Facebook, Instagram, you'll see me on Monday when, when I do some more work on aircraft and whatnot. But until then, God bless. And don't forget, let's create something together. Take care now.